crazy, entertaining, and a little bit scary. That's how political analyst Mike Murphy describes this presidential election. One of the most successful strategists in the National Republican Party gave his personal insight on the race to leaders of cities and towns across the state of Utah. Murphy has handled strategy and advertising for more than 26 successful gubernatorial and senatorial campaigns, working for notables such as Mitt Romney, John McCain, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Jeb Bush. Now he spells out clearly how he sees the current presidential race. I think what's really driving it is most people in the country on each side have lost faith in politics. They don't think anything gets done. They think the elites are running everything and running it badly. So there's really kind of a cry of pain from the voters about enough of this. Let's make some big changes. So the choice is going to be Donald Trump, who's nothing but change, but not a lot of qualifications, experience, and maybe not that level ahead, versus Hillary Clinton, who has all the experience in the world, but is a part of the old political system that people are so angry at. So it's a real clash of titans and it reflects the, you know, the differences in the country now. How did Trump get where he is? He got there because he got about 44 percent of the vote in a big multi-way field where that was enough to win. And he also was the most effective candidate at carrying a message of grievance. The system's all screwed up, it's fixed, you got to use me as a club from outside politics to beat it back. It was not an inclusive message. It was not a message a lot of us think can win a general election. But in the Republican primary, where people were very fed up, it was a bit of a breath of fresh air. And he was famous. It's a good thing to be famous. And that gives you an advantage from day one in a campaign because you don't have to buy advertising. What is Hillary doing so wrong? Hillary's greatest strength is policy details. Her greatest weakness is she's not a natural candidate. She's not a Bill Clinton. She doesn't have that ability to connect with people. And people see her as way too calculating that she's you know, always got a three-point plan, she's not always that honest with you, and that's been holding her back in this election. People who like her on the Democratic side for her experience and the fact that she has a lot of knowledge about the world and about policy just aren't sure they can trust her. And trust is one of the most important things in politics. Murphy's expertise is sought by Fortune 500 companies. He's a regular commentator on Meet the Press. His strategic approach is respected in the highest political circles, whether we agree or disagree, this is his political forecast. Well, if you look at the mathematics of the election, the minority vote is about 30% of the electorate, and Trump is losing by roughly infinity. So he's going to get very few votes there, and he's worked hard not to get those votes. So it's going to come down to college-educated white women and college-educated white men. Trump will do great with blue-collar voters, people who don't have a college education. But historically, Republicans have won in double digits college-educated white voters. Right now, Trump's barely ahead. So he's going to have to get particularly college-educated white women to change their minds about him. That's what he's trying on the campaign trail, and that's what he's going to try to do in the debates. It's a heavy lift, but if he pulls it off, he can win. And you're constantly asked to make a prediction. Would you dare? The math right now, the numbers say Hillary has the advantage on demographics, despite her lackadaisical campaign. So I think she has about a four out of five chance of winning right now, though she'll probably just stumble into the finish line. It's not been an elegant campaign. Personally, I have a hard time voting for either of them, so I think I'll probably write somebody in. For the Utah League of Cities and Towns, I'm Susan Wood.